today welcome back to another review all right this is the actual review of the Karen bolt action now I've had some time to give it a good play I've taken it to a game um, still love it I uh, have found a few issues um, at the game I did have a fair few jams um, shell coffee was great um, and I'm cracking a mag to still on today unfortunately uh, so they are a bit fragile but still a great blaster all in all um, so just give you a little bit of a rundown of some of the internals um, it's got a metal, metal pl plunger rod which is fantastic um, make sure you put it in the right way up that's what I did wrong in the unboxing video that's all that was wrong <laughs> and I managed to keep doing it apparently um, yeah it's got a metal catch inside I'm sure it was in like an interesting little housing um, yeah, that was something else. Um, that really swam me out, but you really have to look right down a lot to be able to see that. Um, a couple of notes, uh, differences, I was talking to some boys about between this and the actual original Renfield, which this is based on, um, is obviously the not adjustable stock, but it's still got a nice rubber grip, um, and there's no mag stop. Now, that can allow the mags to get pushed up a tiny bit too far um, but it is what it is um, as long as you give it a little tuck down afterwards so like just to make sure it's on the catch oh, pretty well solves that issue um, oh, I've got some range footage to show later on uh, I did have to bring my range in due to the range in this even a game was only about 20 to 25 meters um, the range footage which I've got is only 20 um, I just want to make sure it was going to be able to hit but yeah I was rather disappointed after about the 25 meter mark the dart drop is so significant like just crazy um, other than that oh what else oh yeah the bolt slides ambidextrous so left or right um, oh I keep it on the right a little bit nicer for myself um, but when I have to take it again, I need to swap it over to the left side because I've been taking in the original foam that it came with just because that is so nice. Uh, Picatinny rails, freaking great, uh, good fitment. I've uh, got one site that doesn't fit them, uh, being a little bit too small, um, but that's the site being too small, not the Picatinny. Uh, but that is what it is. Um, pretty well, yeah, it's just fantastic. Picatinny full length across the top. Um, as well as uh, a little bit underneath, just enough to stick a full grip and a bipod. Um, they are both very nice. Um, doesn't come with any actual sights um, or a full grip or anything like that, um, and doesn't come with a muzzle. Uh, that's actually a muzzle off Nightingale over the orange tip from Swift. Um, just one of the rifle tips. It doesn't do much but at the same time I have not found any scar yet which is making a significant improvement um, at long range and due to how short the range is proven to be it's once again just one of those things it's not really overly necessary um, but yeah other than that don't really have much to say um, she's a fantastic blaster um, I'm pretty sure the original flypoint shells may fit. Um, they might be cross compatible with the mags. I'm not sure. I'm hoping so. Um, next game, with any luck, one of the boys will bring one and I'll be able to find out. But this is my current entire face setup. Um, still needs paint. But I'm going to leave it at that. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And enjoy. stay tuned for a little bit of a range run.
Hope you enjoyed the range run. Blast on.